Units from the United States Air Force, the United States Navy, and the Japan Air Self-Defense Force have been flying missions out of Guam over the past two weeks for exercise Cope North. Cope North began in 1978 as a way for the United States and Japan to enhance their air operations. This is the 11th time the exercise has been conducted at Anderson Air Force Base, and it's the largest Cope North exercise ever executed by the Pacific Air Forces. United States Air Force Colonel Mark Reese and Japan Self-Defense Force Colonel E. Fukuzawa are the commanders for Cope North 11-1. Colonel Reese says Cope North is an important exercise that allows American and Japanese airmen to improve their skills. We are getting a lot out of this. It helps us obviously to work closely together. Uh, we are very close allies, which is extremely important as we stand together in the Pacific. Um, there are a lot of threats out here or potential threats in the Pacific and to be able to stand shoulder to shoulder is extremely important. This year's Cope North exercise involves 56 aircraft and more than a thousand personnel from U.S. and Japanese forces. So what we've had during this exercise obviously is uh, the red or opposing forces and then the blue forces which are working to protect our assets. We also have the B-52s um, doing strike missions, uh, the C-130s doing airlift and airdrop. Um, we've got uh, low altitude strike missions with the F-2s and also the F-16s. Like with any other training exercise, Colonel Reese says the weather has played a role in Cope North. We have some limitations with respect to sea states. Um, and as you know, in two of my objectives, the word safety is in there. Um, so we have some restrictions on what we can do with certain wave heights. And we've had to change some of our operations from one piece of airspace in the north down to the south today because of that. Um, but the great planning we do between the two sides enables us to be flexible and to come up with another operational plan to be able to overcome that. Cope North 11-1 began on February 13th and will continue through tomorrow. Betsy Brown, PNC News.